Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. I'm going to be showing you today how I edited this photo of a little girl in a field. And I just wanted to make it a richer, darker picture, actually. So what I did was I used blend modes. To start with, when I use blend modes, I tend to use the adjustment panel and create what I call a fake adjustment layer. It's an adjustment layer where I make no changes to the actual adjustment. This allows for a smaller file size. What I'm going to do is change the blend modes where it says normal, I'm going to drop down to soft light. And normally I wouldn't use soft light at 100%, but I actually love what it does to the greenery here in the field. But I'm not happy with what it did to the little girl. Too much contrast. So I'm going to take a black brush, use my paintbrush tool, and I'm gonna have the opacity of my paintbrush tool around 30%. And I'm going to go ahead and paint on her to change, take the change off of her. I'm going to do a second pass, so that will be taking about 60% off. But that way it gives me some control. You can see where I painted on my mask there. The next thing I'm going to do is a second adjustment layer. So I back out of the first one, and I'm going to pull up a second adjustment layer. This time I want to make the sky darker, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the multiply blend mode. It will of course make everything darker. And so I'm going to go ahead and mask the bottom area of the picture. I wanna use a soft brush, but not too soft of a brush. So I'm going to increase my hardness up just a bit so I don't get a halo. I'm gonna have it at about 28% here. And using a black brush, I'm going to mask on the bottom. I'm gonna take the darkness away on the hay and the grass and the little girl. I will need to paint a few times if I have my brush opacity still at 30%. I could increase it, but this way it gives me control to, and allows me to have some areas darker or some areas lighter if desired. You just want to make sure at the line of the sky that you don't get any haloing. And that's all there is to it. Let's take a look with a snapshot. Here is my before image, and there is my after. A couple quick adjustment layers, and we're done. Thank you for watching. This is Jody from mcpactions.com.